So this is the week we've all been waiting for. We finally get to see the multiplayer reveal. We also get to find out a couple other things as well as the next update for Cold War. You know what time it is, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do this. So how is it going, Dank Division? Dank Dan here, and we're going to be discussing what we are getting this week. So let's dive in. So as many of you already know, tomorrow, Tuesday, at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 10 a.m. Pacific Time, we are going to finally get the multiplayer reveal of Call of Duty Vanguard. This is going to showcase the multiplayer mode, the maps, the weapons, and pretty much what we'll be seeing in the beta. What's better yet is that all of those boxes with the locks on them that were sent to content creators are going to be opened on that day as well. Whether it's going to happen during the event, slightly after the event, or in the middle of it all, we will have to wait and see. Because the last time that this whole thing played out, we ended up going on an Easter egg hunt that lasted all the way up until the release. If you guys forget Pawn Takes Pawn, you might want to do a little research on that. Because that's the route they went with Cold War, and who knows, they might play those kind of games going into this game. So, what else we will be seeing? Wednesday's going to be kind of a slow day if there's a bundle or two, I'll, I'll be impressed. But that's not what everyone's excited for. It's Thursday. That's right. Thursday, you are going to have Season 5 Reloaded drops. With it, of course, you're going to be seeing the new operator of Hudson. You're going to be seeing the Psy. You're going to see all these new stuff for zombies. A multiplayer map, a mode. Warzone's going to be getting two modes as well as a number sequence eventually. All this cool stuff. If you guys want to know more about that since I'm glossing over it, I'm going to leave a link to the video that I made below so you guys can learn about everything that we're getting in regards to Season 5 Reloaded. We also have it that this weekend is going to be the beta for the PlayStation players who pre-ordered. Yes, that's right. For those of you who pre-ordered Vanguard on PlayStation, you are going to have your exclusive first playthrough of the beta this weekend so be ready for that because some of you are going to be playing this for the very first time and god help you i have a feeling that mp40 is going to be unholy now usually i try to stay on on cod when i'm covering news but this this rocks the very foundations of the gaming world right now for those of you who are unaware of what's been going on, uh, I hate to put it this way, but you have it, that the actor behind Irish from Battlefield 4 and has pretty much shown his face in Battlefield 2042 and is supposed to be the pre-order, died today at 54 years old and was found dead in his New York City apartment at the age of 54. That is really, really young. Now, I'm not going to go into what happened or how exactly he died or what it could be because that's not going to change anything. But at this point, uh, the, gaming, the gaming world definitely is... Just the world is really feeling that loss, especially in the gaming world. Anyone who watched The Wire too, even though I didn't watch it, is definitely going to be feeling that one. So to everyone out there and to his family, let's face it, all of our thoughts and prayers are with you in this one. So we'll have to see how all of that plays out and whether or not Battlefield is going to do something special for the man. Sorry to end that on a, on a low note, guys. Um, Usually I would, you know, play the whole, hey, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, that that whole ploy, but I feel like that would be kind of a bad move on my part if I do that at the end of the video after saying all of that. So all of you out there, I want you to take a look at the person that's next to you. I want you to hold them a little bit closer tonight because you need to remember, life is precious and you never know 
when or where you might just see someone for the last time. So you hold that person next to you because they are your meta. And you were their meta. And to all of you out there, you have a wonderful day and night. Whatever you do, do it wholeheartedly. And this is Dank Dan signing off.